hello everyone so i finally got it working um, this is um, the final demo or rather the first demo of the first version uh, of the device um, i'll just go over the components uh, quickly um, this is a battery holder and this is the button button battery i'll be using this is 3 volts uh, next to that you see an msp430 okay that's the processor the controller will use the brain of the project uh, you, what you see here is a potentiometer and uh, this will be used to uh, change uh, set the time uh, the time before the uh, alarm should go off uh, over here is the buzzer which is used for the alarm uh, over here you'll see uh, an led array and uh, the led array is used to uh, um, is to used to indicate how much time has elapsed uh, from when you turned on the water it's also used to uh, show what the setting of this uh, potentiometer is okay so and that depends on the mode of operation and i'll come to that next uh, a button this button over here is used to uh, select the mode of operation uh, when the device powers on it is in uh, the set mode and uh, the set mode is used to set the time uh, if you don't do anything after uh, if you don't do anything for 5 seconds over here at this potentiometer it will automatically go to run mode or if you push it push this button again it will go to run mode as well so in run mode it will continuously sense uh, if the water is running using this sensor and the sensor is pretty simple it just it's this is just a bottle cap uh, i just use for soda bottle cap and uh, through this you can see uh, uh, two uh, gem clips uh, I, I just uh, cut some cut some gem clips which is used to uh, hold paper together and then I just put them put it through the uh, bottle cap and when this is dipped in water uh, the circuit will be complete and uh, you can sense uh, VCC on the on the microcontroller uh, this last thing is the power switch I have not really connected it in this circuit but uh, the final PCB version will have it so I just thought I'd give you guys a, a quick uh, walkthrough of this and I could know your uh, get your feedback if you need any changes or um, if you find any issues on this so Let's begin the demo. So I'll put the battery over here. Okay, and uh, as it powers on, it's in set mode. After five seconds, it will go to the run mode. Okay, so now it's in run mode, and obviously, since there is no, uh, uh, there's no, uh, I mean, th th there's no water. Um, th nothing's going to happen. As long you can wait as much as you want, nothing's going to happen. Uh, uh, but uh, I'll just show you the set mode again. So if I go back to the set mode, okay, and if I change the potentiometer you can see that the bar graph increase uh, goes higher and this indicates that my time uh, the, the time interval I set increases okay and it starts from 10 seconds uh, for the first alarm and can go all the way up to 50 seconds for the first alarm okay and uh, again you can see that it's come out of the set mode I can also go back to set mode and then go back to run mode again so right now I'm at the minimum setting I'm going to keep the minimum setting just for to keep the time of the video short so I'm going to put this uh, sensor in the water and as fast as possible I even stop the stop start the stopwatch. So we'll go here and start the stopwatch. So after about 10 seconds you should be able to see uh, the first LED come on. And here we go, yeah. Okay, so one more time you'll see after 20 seconds you'll see the next next set of LEDs come on. There you go. And then after 30 seconds, the third pair should come on. Okay. Okay. So we've got two more pairs before the final alarm rings. Uh, after 40 seconds, the fourth alarm will go on. Uh, the fourth LED will pair will go on. And finally, after 50 seconds, because our setting is 10 10 second intervals. Uh, after 50 seconds, you will see the final alarm and a buzzer. There you go. So it flashes telling you that you need to switch off the water immediately okay and if i i can either yeah, i can just either remove this i can just if i remove this you can see that the alarm just goes off okay so if i if i remove this take this out you can see you know that the um, that the alarm goes back off right so that's that's it for this demo